Let's look at an example problem dealing with the simple harmonic motion of a spring. You have to find the spring constant of a spring. You set it up with a 100 gram mass oscillating up and down on the spring. With a stopwatch, you find that it completes 10 revolutions in 13.6 seconds. What is the spring constant? Well, let's start with a quick diagram of what's going on here. We've got a spring, and hanging from that spring is a 100 gram mass. So m equals 100 grams. As you set this thing oscillating up and down, you find out that it completes 10 revolutions, or cycles, in 13.6 seconds. And we are asked to find the spring constant. Well, we basically only have one formula that deals with the simple harmonic motion of a spring. That is that t is equal to 2 pi times the square root of m divided by k. And happily for us, I think everything that we need is included in that formula. First step is going to be figuring out what this time period is. But that's straightforward enough. We know that the period technically means the seconds per revolution. So in our case we had 13.6 seconds for 10 revolutions. That's going to give us a period of 1.36 seconds. So that allows us to keep going with our formula. 1.36 seconds is equal to 2 pi times the square root of m divided by k. Now let's, of course, put our mass in right away of 100 grams. Don't forget to convert that to SI units, so it's 0 0.1 kilograms. Now all we have left is some math to do. We've got 1.36. Let's divide that by 2 and also divide that by pi. And I'll just show an intermediate step here. That is 0 0.216, and our units are still seconds, since pi has no units, is equal to the square root of 0 0.100 kilograms over k. So now, my opposite operation to undo that square root, of course, is to square both sides. So if I square this, I get 0 0.0469 seconds squared is equal to 0 0.100 kilograms divided by k. Now I can switch, basically switch out k with this other number. If I multiply both sides by k and divide both sides by this number, so then I really have to do 0.1 divided by that answer. So now I get my k is equal to 2.13 and let's just leave that as 3 sig digs reason being this 10 is technically just a counting number, it's not something I measured, so I'll stick with my three sig digs from the other ones. I still need units here, so we had kilograms divided by seconds squared. Now you might be wondering what kind of a unit that is. Well, if you remember that this is almost looking like a newton. A newton is a kilogram times a meter per second squared. So it's just that meters that we're missing. So we could also rewrite this as 2.13 newtons divided by meters. It's our newtons without the meters. And this it should be the units that you recognize from spring constants. So we can say that the spring constant is this number of 2.13 newtons per meter. And there we go. We've tackled our first problem about the simple harmonic motion of a spring.